how we think about ourselves, how we think about fitness, how we think about what we're putting into our mouths, all of that is probably the most important thing. If your mindset is not ready, or if you're not in the right state of mind, that's probably what's doing you the biggest disservice. So think. And then everything that you put into your mouth. So what are you eating? What's going inside of this body of yours? That's key, that's pivotal. Then you can move. And movement is just getting this body working. Whatever it is, dancing, if you loved dancing, you know, just finding a movement that works for you and then eventually learning to move well. You know, we exercise because we stopped playing. Well, look, we needed some cardio elements in the training especially now the final stretch before the shoot. From a training perspective, look, it's always good to have some form of cardiovascular training, but we've been intentional with this. Um, but then I also had the 94.7, so it just coincided perfectly. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this power lab session is I haven't had time to get on the bike and go out on the road and do like longer rides. So this type of training is really specialized. You can work within specific zones and from that you can sort of extrapolate what you would do in the studio. You, you would be able to see how you cope on the road. Most people don't give themselves the chance to feel what optimal health feels like. They're so used to subpar living that when they're in that category, when they're in that state of mind or that frame of mind, everything seems extreme. The biggest issue with Stacey is her bad attitude. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. The difference in our approach when it comes to a training program is looking at the long game <laughs> and not trying to train too much too quick. Building into the program, letting your body adapt to the sessions you're doing. Yeah, it has to be mentally a healthy process. It has to be sustainable long term. It can't be a rapid, I'm going to do this for four weeks. You're just going to shoot yourself in the foot. When it comes to training, we really believe that strength should be your focus. The pillar of our training is, is strength training. Either three or four full body strength training days a week. We focus on the big lifts. We focus on doing the, the lifts your body was designed to do naturally. So squat, push, pull movement. Strength really does change your body the most. I haven't had chicken breast in such a long time and now that's all I'm eating. Yep. And you should have a juice, man. Or like soup or something. No, because I don't want... Like right now is not the time to be consuming my calories in liquids like that. We joke about the the hake and rice cakes diet, you know, where these bo like bodybuilders follow that approach of eating terrible food that nobody wants to eat. How is that sustainable long term? Two letters and one word is enough to change. She's she's starting to look better and better in terms of her eating. I'm not exactly sure about every last detail. I sometimes question a thing or two. Um, we have a, a little bit of banter about that, but she is seeing her dietitian. For Stacy, there's a couple of aspects I was trying to work on. So one is health. It's like working with an athlete, health and performance, but in this case, performance was more akin to, you know, working towards the body shape that uh, she was aiming for. So my belief is if you can get the health covered and balanced, it will support the ability to then go and do the hard gym sessions and maybe taper down on nutrition to get the, get the right body shape or to be ready for a particular event. I've seen good progress in Stacey's. She's gained muscle, so it's always important when you're doing a transformation to really look at the long game and 
you know, if you just straight away try to get lean from the beginning without having the muscle mass underneath there to reveal, you're just going to be a skinnier version of what you were before. But if you add a bit of muscle first and then lean out, you're going to get that athletic look that most people are looking for. Now that we're finding when, have found out when the cover shoot will be, we are starting to set more specific goals of what body fat percentage we want to add and when we need to be there. It always helps to have a set date to work towards, you know, otherwise your goals are, lo are pie in the sky goals. We've worked towards putting on some muscle on her shoulders, her back and her hips, her legs to get that nice accentuated hourglass shape that a, a suits a feminine uh, figure, but athletic, you know, a bit of muscle. So initially with the calipers, we aim to get to a, a body fat percentage of between 10 to 12. We've also used the in-body measurement system and with that, a, a body fat percentage of 15. That's as close to 15 as possible. She's really made great strength gains. She really is an enthusiast when it comes to training. Yeah. So it's here. Squeeze there, and then load onto the hip to lower yourself. Yeah. And then push away. So a big thing I'd I'd say to you guys is that you need to approach your exercise as an opportunity to really just be there, enjoy it, enjoy the the hour that you're in the gym or however long it is, and escape the rest of the world, clear your mind. And we we know now that your mind is so powerful and the way you frame things in your mind will affect the results you literally get from training because of your dopamine response. So if you can frame things in your head that you know the right way and be grateful that you're in the gym, you're able to use your body, you're able to move with this body, you're able to actually try and prove this body. Okay, now go fluid. As you put it down, reconnect into the squat. Breathing. It's a gift, you, you know, and you, you start being grateful and approaching things from a point of gratitude. You're, you will literally see better results because you're more positive-minded about your training.